please forgive me if I say wrong, I'm out of breath. I've just had my dinner and Anyway, I was sort of in a rush eating and yes, whatever. Starship Troopers mixed ratings. <clears throat> I watch it on Disney Plus. Neil Patrick Harris, Bronte Brown, Michael Ironside, Dean Norris, and it's. Is this? No, it's not. It's uh, someone else. Oh! I was thinking of. Who's the girl from the office? Amy Ryan? Whatever. Yeah, but I know Amy Smart as well from Crank. Timothy Omenson. It's good. The Princess. Universally negative ratings. I watch it on Disney Plus. Joey King, who I only know from people talking about how high hot she is. Oka Kurenko. Kur Kurilenko. Dominic Cooper. I do not understand why the ratings of this is so low. It is a fantastic film. It is like the the taking of fantasy films. Just go watch it. Edward Scissorhands. Universally positive ratings. Directed by Tim Burton. I watch it on Disney+. Plus. Johnny Depp. Why well, on a writer. Some of these other names are familiar. Like Anthony Michael Hall. Alan Arkin. I know Vincent Price from another thing he did with uh, Tim Burton that I watched in Moving Image. It's good and it's based because they're, they're hitting on him just because he's different. Which is what caused the problems of the, like all the bad stuff that happened in the film. Like, the first thing that comes to mind is when he accidentally slashed Kim. And then Jim, or whoever the boyfriend is, yeah, Jim was like, hey, don't you touch her again. Like, you're the fucking reason why he did it, because you called out and startled him. Anyway. Also, I forgot to mention, for the Star Trek Troopers review, I started that film sometime last month. Like, after whatever the last Disney Plus film I did was, the... I think it, what, what was it, Idiocracy? I know there were a couple of films since, but... Like, there's some I watched in my grandma's house, some that I didn't. The one, whatever the last one I didn't... Whatever the last one I watched at my house was, which I think was Idiocracy. That's when I started watching Starship Troopers, right after Idiocracy. So... You know, watching it before school, which it was probably the last day. Um, and I finished. Like I only had like twelve minutes left. I was able to watch a couple more minutes of it on Boxing Day, and I finished it today. Anyway, Nomadland, universally positive ratings. I watched it on Disney Plus. Francis McDormand. As far as I know, these pe yeah these people aren't really actors. Well, LeBron James. Jason Bateman. Um, also directed by Chloe Zhao. Where he, he directed Eternals. A bit, bit weird from going from something very indie like this to something that is, you know, it's a fucking Marvel film, but it does sort of have, they, they have their similarities. Um, what I said about this film, you have to take a grain of salt because I was on my phone most of the time because 
it's hard for a film like this to not be boring. But boring doesn't necessarily mean bad, it just means that I'm likely to get up and start playing games or going on Instagram or whatever. Um, but from what I was paying attention to, it was good. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. You know, really pause every ending to watch it on Disney Plus. <coughs> Francis McDormand, again. Sam Rockwell, Woody Harrelson, Peter Dinklage, Caleb Landry Jones, Lucas Hedges, John Hawk, Samara Weaving. Captain Newton sounds familiar. Jack Vincent. Oh, was he the was he the fat dentist? Fuck. Right. Um, I've never explained this in the video, Gary Winslet also starred in four episodes from 1984, which is a companion, we'll call it, to the 1984-1984 film, the ones around John Hurt. Um, and it's just like wee mini stories set within that universe. But the film is lost, and I kind of looked it up to try and find more about it. I kept on seeing this guy smiling at me. So I've kind of grown to hate him. Uh, just weird seeing him in something that isn't that. Nick Cersei, I think, was he in Justified? Yep. He was the... Uh, he was like the chief, I think. I finished Justified like two years ago, so I don't really remember. Actually, it's only three years ago this year. <clears throat> It's good. Um, it's good this morning. I think it's great. Although my dad came in in the last half and just started being a prick. It's like, good. What's this? What's this crap you're watching? He always calls whatever I'm watching crap because he, he he's just a fucking asshole like that. It's like he's being funny. Like he, he'll even do it when I'm watching like Saving Private Ryan, which he he loves Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. What crap are you watching Saving Private Ryan? Crap. Uh, you're, you're so funny. Um, then after that, he started like going on Facebook, playing whatever shitty conspiracy theories he can find. Meanwhile, he's constantly shaking his leg, and because the chairs are so close together, I can feel it. So I start like lightly tapping him with the remote. He's like, Yeah, hey, stop doing that. You're such an asshole. Starts trying to hit me back. And I'm just trying to get involved in everything because he is desperate for attention. But from what I what I did see, it's a great film. Francis McDermott's character, her like her dialogue, everything is fucking perfect. Like a lot of her, a lot of her dialogue you can put in like fucking Sigma means. <laughs> 